what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. So guys, we're back in the video guys today. I'm excited. This is a different one. This is new and you, the recommendation keeps on coming. We're going to check out German humor meets American mentality. Science comedian Vince Ebbett. This is going to be my first time checking this out. I just want to give this a try with you guys. Whew, you know how these guys will talk less right away as more. Let's get into this video. Now we Germans are fascinated by stupid rules, aren't we? In our train stations, innocent smokers are forced to stand in small yellow squares painted on the floor <laughs> in order to keep the non-smokers away from the poison. That's about as intelligent as dividing a swimming pool into a peeing and a non-peeing section. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's true. That's true. No, I, I really love America because you're such a proud nation. Huh? In the US, you can keep a suicidal person off from jumping just by telling him, Sir, you can be proud to be American. If you did this to a German, he would jump before you can finish the sentence. <laughs> I really love America. The American way, always asking, how are you? Yeah. I mean, they don't care, but they do ask. <laughs> and the answer is always, I'm fine. thank you, I'm fine, I'm great. In Germany, a how are you is not a common greeting phrase, it's a specific medical question. <laughs> Seriously? How are you? Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> I have problems with my left kidney, my back hurts, I have sore throat, pretty sure it's cancer. <laughs> <laughs> really? A small talk is not our thing in Germany. We meet someone from America at a dinner party, and after five minutes we ask him, what the hell were you thinking when you killed all these Native Americans? <laughs> That's our idea of a relaxed dinner conversation. <laughs> now we always wanted to, to get to the bottom of things. And maybe that's the reason why we have so many excellent scientists. 100 years ago, German physicists figured out that light is something in between a particle and a wave. Who gives the shit, Americans say? We just want to light up our rooms. <laughs> Such an approach is way too superficial for us, because we wanted to know exactly what light is. Therefore, the German Max Planck developed quantum physics, whereas the American Thomas Edison only invented the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, without this invention, we would still be sitting around a candle watching Netflix. <laughs> This guy's good, it's good, like, it's good. German mentality is deeply shaped by the spirit of Goethe's Faust. The desire to understand whatever holds the world together in its innermost faults. And I felt this desire too. When I was 10, I took my canary in its cage outside during a thunderstorm just to check if Faraday was right. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> and he was. <laughs> the bird wasn't struck by lightning, it died of a heart attack. <laughs> anyway. An American friend of mine said, yeah, I know a lot of our people don't know anything about evolution. And maybe it's be because of our bad education system in America. Yours in Germany is much better. And I don't think it's true. I think we just have a different approach. Uh, in America, they say, we go to school. In Germany, we say, we go into school. So, we Germans enter our school buildings, Americans just hang out in front of them. And maybe that's the difference. That and don't sense. get me wrong, also in Germany, there's a big lack of scientific knowledge. 45% of all German high school students believe that Voltaire invented the battery. <laughs> I want to spend a year as an ampere in France. <laughs> <laughs> I 
We Germans are afraid of everything. Of stem cells, nuclear power, fracking, genetic engineering, you name it. If the Germans had ruled the world a million years ago, our health and safety regulations would have prevented the discovery of fire. We are so full of fear. Before we go on holiday, almost every German takes out a Reiserücktrittsversicherung. <laughs> the most important insurance in Germany, a travel cancellation insurance. Almost every German has it. Oh, we book an adventure trip to the cannibals in South America, but only with a Reiserücktrittsversicherung. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be way too risky. One of the first three words German babies learn. Mom, Dad, Reiserücktrittsversicherung. <laughs> of course not. Mom and Dad come way later. <laughs> and the fourth word is Fahrvergnügen. Joy of driving. And this is very interesting, I think. Driving our cars is probably the only activity we Germans enjoy danger. When an American has a death wish, he strangles a bull's testicles, sits on its back, and tries to ride it for as long as possible. Oh. We Germans invented the Autobahn instead. <laughs> Cars are our holy cows. Because it's our constitutional right to go on a family trip in a Volkswagen with the speed of a cruise missile. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit of a cliche, I know. Not every German is into cars. Uh, last year, I flew into New York, at, and at the border control, the officer asked me, so, you are German, what's your favorite car? And I said, sorry, officer, I don't care much for cars. And all of a sudden, he looked at me very suspiciously. <laughs> you don't have a favorite car, so you can't be German. Sorry, sir, not every German. Put your hand where I can see that. <laughs> Actually, it was a very relaxed routine check, about five hours, and uh, forget what you heard about waterboarding. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> it's a Porsche, a Porsche. What model? 911. <laughs> This guy is good, this is good, this is good. Jeez. This was really entertaining, like really, really entertaining. It, the funny stuff about this comedy I've been watching, like it's true, but it is really hilarious. The way they, they are gestures, like that gestures, you observe it, you you can't just hold yourself from laughing. Like it's, it's, it's impossible some way, like this is trying not to laugh. Like there's no way you won't laugh. You're gonna, the chick is gonna hurt, like, I've been laughing since morning. Like, I've just been watching German jokes. I've, it's really making my day. I feel like visiting the country right now because it's very, 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 very entertaining. Like, exciting. I'm learning every day from them. Like, this is like a culture that I'm learning. I'm just, wanna, I'm just learning more from them through their comedy. And it's really meaning a lot to me, guys. Keep the recommendation coming because this is entertaining to watch. Now, you know... Um, Okay, a lot of German likes cars. I never knew about that. I know there are cars that are um, created, like produced in German, in Germany. But I never knew you guys were really into cars like that. But this was really entertaining. I learned something right today. I've learned something today, and I keep learning every day through your comedy. So keep the recommendation coming. This was very entertaining. This was hilarious. This was amusing. <laughs> this was really good. Like I, I was. I was really, really happy, like, watching this. Uh, this really made my day. I'm really happy. Very, very, very happy watching this. I feel like showing this to my friends, like, because they, they are going to love this. And I'm going to learn from you guys, um, you, you, Germany. I would love to learn your language, too, so I'll be able to understand fully who you guys are, because I'm really drawn to it through your comedy skits. And I'm, I'm starting to learn the name. I know about who it's <laughs> I'm starting to learn the name, like, of recent, because... You guys are very, very, very entertaining, and you guys have a very good sense of um, human. And your body language, why you joke, and 
the way you express yourself it's totally different you guys are totally different from the entire world and i really do enjoy your 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 way of things it's really really good i'd love to know about you guys your food and some other things but for now your comedy skates have won my heart this is really really good this is really really exciting exciting to watch comment down below think about our video give us a thumbs up share this video as many as can subscribe to our youtube channel guys you know how it is we'll see you guys on the next video make sure you stay safe I just want a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitch, in my bed, I got scales all